Ladies and gentlemen, my topic is a bite of life. I'm a food lover. I regard eating is the highest form of civilization. We Chinese people does a very civilized. Why? There's a saying that if Adam and Eve were Chinese, we are all now in paradise. Because they would choose to eat the snake rather than the apple. <laughs> I suppose every one of you enjoy eating. Imagine it's a freezing winter. You feel chilly. A bowl of hot fresh onion soup is put in front of you. You smell the sweet scent of onion and beef. You see the liquid, the golden liquid within the right parsley with a piece of bread for the morning. Now, take up your silver spoon, fill it up, and sip the soup gently. Let the flavor of soup slowly caress every taste part of your tongue. What a fulfilling experience! Not only your mouth, but your nose, your eyes, and your stomach take part in this symphonic process to enjoy it. Therefore, <coughs> I would say, you are unable to find another way on earth which can give so much pressure to different parts of your body by just one action. No wonder George Benesor said, there's no sincere love than the love of food. <laughs> <laughs> For most people, probably eating well is just a sensational pressure. But it's more meaningful to me. My father came from a small village in southern China. He regarded food is scarce, was very scarce. And also, wastage food is definitely a sin. When I was a little kid, he would hit my fingers with his chopstick because I left food in my bowl or on the table. He always reminded me, present, had to work very hard to grow food. He invited me to treasure and love food. That's why you should understand why I always take away remaining food after dinner. <laughs> As I grew up, my passion for food escalated. The great Russian writer, Leo Tolstoy, once described how man was so indulged in pursuit of good food. First, bread is sufficient. It's good to have some more flavor. Still better, soak the bread in water with meat. It's good to have the meat better not stood, but mostly with butter. Even better, have wine with it, prefer red wine. No one need any more. But one can still have some fish, better with white wine. No one could get full more, but a dessert can still be eaten. There's no limit to this indulgency. So, as my love for food grew, I spent more time to search, to try different cuisines. When my friends and newspaper referred to a I was so eager to patronize them very soon. When I traveled over, overseas, I would spend time to understand local food culture. 
and try their special dishes. I enjoy the delicate goose liver and maxims of Paris. The soft steam abalone in Jeju Island, South Korea. Of course, don't forget the specialty of Hong Kong. The rose rules of Yonggi and the steamed rice with liquid fat, liquid pot fat in big in the big wing wa. <laughs> with those wonderful experiences, make my booming list very long. You may ask, what is your most favorite food? Food and years, I would say. It's not anything from a very luxurious <laughs> restaurant or a naturally star restaurant. It's a festive food I have eaten for years. That is the homemade Chinese horror donut. Jin <laughs> Doi. My father was good at Chinese cooking. He followed the, his rich tradition, which is to make the Jin Doi at the first day of each Lunar New Year. Then the whole family sit around the table and will have a, have a bite of the freshly cooked Jin Doi. <laughs> I I didn't take it for I didn't think it's very special until one day, one lunar new year, I suddenly realized that I could never have this gin doi again. Since then, I have bought many gin doi from different food shops, but none of them are as yummy as my father's one. Ladies and gentlemen, now if life, if food make our life fulfilling, but what they say is love make our life meaningful. Treasure your family member and your food when it's available.